Hi, this is Yang Park. Uh, I'm going to teach microcomputer applications in business, which is BUSA 2010 this semester. So let me give you some tips and information that we need to know. So let me go through uh, some syllabus information first, and and now uh, we can switch to. Uh, GoView, which is our learning system. Again, uh, this is Yang Park. People call me Yang, Dr. Park. But no, you should not call me uh, Dr. Yang. Okay, Yang is my first name. Okay. All right. So first of all, you need to sell. Uh, read, you need to read the syllabus first, right? So that's something uh, everyone should do. And check the details. I know there's a lot of information out there, but check just some details. And just like I have right here on my computer, you need to have a webcam and you should have a decent microphone or something that uh, that you can use to record your audio, right? Well, it's not a must in terms of audio, but I think you should have a good, um, you know, quality uh, audio uh, as well as a webcam so that you have a better connections. And another requirement, of course, I uh, need to have a Microsoft Office 2019 or higher. Yeah, matter of fact, you can get you can get Microsoft Office 365 for free on GSW website. So the link is available right there on the presentation. And this 365 version is actually uh, up to date. Uh, I think it should be better than 2019 version, which is kind of fixed. But 365 is updated quite often. And this is online version as well, so you, you know your computer should not take more space than uh, the other versions. Okay. Now let me uh, take to GoView and see how you should use the GoView, which is our learning system. And when you uh, landed the first page. Uh, it should look like this as you can see announcement you should check this an announcement very often every few days at least so that you get uh, up-to-date information and some other Im in important information such as uh, video tutorials or uh, testing quizzes and then those things will be posted on announcement okay especially video tutorials I cannot send the uh, video tutorial through email so make sure to check this announcement okay of course other important announcement will be uh, sent out by email but uh, this is a very important part and uh, you should you should click content to check your materials for example syllabus is right there However, there's a little, I think, a little uh, hiccup that we need to fix is if you click syllabus on the top menu link, the link is not there, it's broken. So uh, to get to syllabus, you need to get to content and syllabus for a while. I'm trying to fix it. I'm trying to fix it as soon as possible, but hopefully I uh, can do it uh, you know, in a couple of days and again syllabus is right there so that you can read and to move forward to the next module so i organize by module so module one should be the first one which is uh same compatible with textbook module okay module one comes from textbook module one 
uh, it's a little bit confusing because um, this module here and text module I mean module is the same thing as a chapter in the textbook so the book called it module so it could be confusing because later on the module may not be same I mean it's not uh, match with a number because some module may contain different module number from the textbook but I'll let you know of course so in the, each module you go through the section especially those activities you have assignment discussion quizzes right so that's how you get to there module 2 same structure you go through some uh, information before you get to the assignment assignment 2 quiz 2 so discussion may not be in the each module so oh, I think we'll have only three or four discussions however you have assignment and quizzes every week in uh, in every module okay you can go to assignment directly you can go to quizzes directly of course and you can go to discussion directly or you can coming from you know this module because you have all those links coming from module contents okay so that's how things are designed on go view so anytime you submit to your assignment to your assignment so here we go you're going to click assignment one read the instruction very carefully especially insert your name in the header of each document you're submitting okay that's something you need to do every time you submit for example Let me just open it. Right? I think you may not see whole thing because I the uh, screen size is kind of limited. However, uh, if you switch to print preview or page layout view. And that's your header right right header well, it doesn't matter where you put left middle or right section make sure you put your name every time okay every time you submit all right so that's something you need to do in the header or footer Alright, let's say you have done and you're ready to submit. You're going to click upload, then click whatever the file that you want to submit, then you click open, then one more time you click submit or comment that you want to make. Have your questions or any comment or things in the comment box. Then you click submit, then you'll have confirmation right here. Well, I think you may not see it, but you 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 will have the confirmation with submitted successfully, whatever you know those comments. All right, and Procter U testing. We're gonna have a two Procter U tests which is uh, multiple choice questions in this course so you need to well, i'm sure you're going to get uh, the uh, testing package or you can uh, just pay individually every time you take a test from proctor u website the information is right here or uh, you can get to proctor u uh, link at the top of a go view so all those information are available And in terms of uh, grading details, components, uh, we'll have at least three handout tests, which is using Excel. However, it's not Proctor U. Okay, it's not Proctor. 
but uh, this uh, tests. So you're going to use Excel, then you uh, follow the instructions from the hands out, then you work on Excel, then submit it to go view. So we're going to have three times. We have again two uh, proctor U tests and assignments, which is a case problems uh, located at the end of each chapter. And project. Project is more like a case problems. It could be more advanced or different type of Excel rather than uh, typical case problems in the textbook. And we have a few discussions in the discussion board and we'll have a short quizzes uh, every almost every week right and in terms of assistance or help uh, we have free tutorials available uh, actually uh, that's a tutoring that's tutor.com on GoView okay let me check again if it's still available this semester right here free tutoring right as you can see so then you can I think his link is not there yet so I'm gonna make sure the link is fixed okay all right uh, Accessibility services in terms of uh, Americans with Disabilities Act, and uh, if you're qualified, you need accommodations. Please let me know. And academic integrity, you should read that section again. Basically, uh, if you committed any uh, integrity issues, then uh, you'll have a zero for that particular assignment. And if it uh, comes again, committed again, then you'll get F in this course. Okay, so make sure you read it. And if you have any questions, let me know. So the thing is, uh, you need to uh, ask me. Okay, I'm sure there's some questions you, uh, you'll have. Don't hesitate, just uh, let me know first, rather than spending hours by yourself okay so uh, thank you very much and hope you can enjoy um, the rest of the semester